I sure hope you're sitting down, because in today's section of his Sermon on the Mount, Jesus says, I say to you, love your enemies and pray for those who persecute you. And then he says, get this, be perfect just as your heavenly Father is perfect. This just might be unattainable Tuesday. But let's delve into this a little bit. Let's look at those two commands of Jesus. Number one, let's look at being perfect. Well, the formula is actually pretty simple. As Christians, we are called to live Jesus, to imitate Jesus. So the more we actually imitate Jesus, the closer we get to being perfect as God is perfect. Now, yes, we all know this is practically impossible. Not one of us, including myself for sure, will come close to being God perfect, not even close to it. But here's the challenge for us today, to go for it, to at least try. It's not enough just to sit back and say, ain't going to happen, but to strive to live Jesus, to hunger and thirst for holiness. And that includes daily prayer to God. It means to keep working on yourself to become what they say is the best version of yourself. But it also means doing the things Jesus did to be healing, to be listening, to be giving and forgiving. It means for us to practice our Catholic faith. And as they say, practice makes perfect. And one way that we can strive for that perfection is, my second point today, is to love your enemies and pray for those who persecute you. So rather than harboring nasty thoughts towards someone, say a little prayer for that person who irritates you. Now you may or may not have enemies as such, but I bet there are people in your life who you might look down upon people you feel are beneath you. Even when watching the news, I'm sure you come across political leaders who you simply cannot stand. They kind of persecute you, don't they? Drive you nuts. Yes, Jesus does want us to love our enemies, to pray for our persecutors, because that's a very Christ-like way to live. And that's got to be your intention every morning when you get out of bed. That's got to be your intention because Jesus loved those who betrayed him. Jesus loved those who denied him and beat him. Jesus loved those who nailed him to the cross and killed him. And you know what? Living like this, living like Jesus, helps you to let go of hatred and resentments and to live free, free as a child of God. May Almighty God bless and keep you in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Have yourself an intentional Tuesday.